Hey guys, what's up? Mortarman here. Today I'm going to bring you a tutorial on how to set up NetTools 5 once you get it downloaded. Uh, this is a copyright disclaimer. Be sure and read that so that you understand uh, that this is a tutorial. Also, I have uh, inputted my own copyright, or not copyright, but my own disclaimer so that you guys understand that um, this software is very powerful and has many different uses. Some are not legal. So, if you do download the software, um, please just use it for this purpose that I'm about to show you. Uh, I cannot be responsible for anything else you do with this uh, this software. Um, all right, so let's go ahead and get started. Um, what I'm going to show you is what NetTools 5 the the screenshot. I'm going to show you a screenshot of of what it looks like when you first open it up. Um, there's not much there. <clears throat> You'll see that there's just a, a few buttons at the top left hand corner of the screen. Uh, the first one is a start menu button. You want to you wanna click on that and that's going to open up a huge list of all the different functions of this software and you want to scroll all the way down to the bottom. There's an arrow at the very bottom of the screen. Click on that and go like, I don't know, maybe 10 or 12 uh, rows down and you're going to see the UDP flutter it's Uniform Delta Foxtrot UDP Flutter and you're going to open it up and this is what it's going to look like you're going to see an IP address at the top of the top row you're going to want to delete that whole entire thing and put in 27.27.27.27 exactly like that it's very important that you do it exactly like that or it will not work below that you'll see the word data you want to input a space next to the word data so it's data blank you know there's nothing there uh, copy and paste that and then hold down the button control and the letter V is in Victor for about 30 seconds the more data the better it's just gonna start blinking it's you're not really gonna see it filling up but it's filling up you're gonna fill that row up with data 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 and what that does is it just overflows your internet with, uh, with data. It's almost like 10 or 15 people coming into your house and hopping on the internet all at one time. And that's going to uh, simulate a lag. You're going to raise the, um, the speed all the way to 10, and then you're ready to go. Uh, you can minimize out of this, but don't exit out because then you'll have to redo the whole thing. Uh, but just minimize it to the tray, and then when you're ready to actually lag, just hit the start button. It's also very important that you understand that um, when doing this, you cannot be the host if you want to do a glitch. Your, your buddy needs to be the host. Um, and that way, you're, you're going to be able to lag kind of everybody in the game, but it mostly affects you. And you want to do this for just a few seconds at a time. It's like start, one, two, three, stop. So when you when you feel like you need you know when you're about to do the glitch and you you want to do something just hit start and it'll start to lag almost immediately. Just hold it for a few seconds, and then hit stop. Um, and that's basically how you do it. If if you if you are the host of a game and um, it's just not going to work as well. Um, and you could go into a public lobby, I guess, if you wanted to be a cheater and. Uh, lag everyone else in the game but yourself using this. Um, I don't condone that but that is how you would do it in a public lobby if you wanted to go around killing people you would just hit the lag switch they'll freeze in their tracks you can run up and knife them in the balls and they won't even know what happened. Um, but this is uh, for glitching that's the only thing I use it for. I use it in private matches private lobbies with my buddies and uh, yeah it's great as long as you're not the host um, you can lag at will. So uh, I hope this, this helped you guys out. I know I've had a lot of people asking questions about how to use this, how to set it up and whatnot. So I hope you found this helpful. Um, please rate, you know, give it a like. Um, I did a lot of research on figuring out how to do this. I learned it by myself, and I do have a lot of hours invested in trying to figure this thing out. So um, I think that's worthy of a, you know, of a few likes. Uh, please leave a comment or a question below or you can send me a message either way. I'll leave all the information in the description below. Alright guys, take care. This is Mortarman and we will see you next time. Peace.